Hello my fellow fans, today's royal installment. A body language expert has revealed the grab technique used by Meghan Markle to control her husband when she gets bored. Jesus, Enrique Rosas, also said that Prince Harry changes completely when he is around his wife. The showbiz royals have been putting on an impressive show at the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf in recent days, celebrating Harry's 39th birthday with beer and sausages at a German beer hall as well as watching the sport in action and attending medal ceremonies. The Duke of Sussex arrived before his wife last weekend and Rosas told Nana Akua that he had exuded camaraderie and charisma. All that changed when the Duchess arrived in Germany and the expert soon spotted her trademark. He said Meghan is quite dominant and before Meghan arrived Harry had this attitude of camaraderie he has a bit of charisma. Harry, a bit awkward, but still Harry. When Meghan arrives, things tend to change a bit, especially when Meghan gives him this gesture, when she's a bit bored and wants Harry to go. Hey, just go, I'm bored, let's move forward. Akua and Rosas have discussed this move previously, and she said, yeah, the claw, the grab, the claw that we call it. She claws his hand and he can't escape it. The expert continued, it's a running joke at first, but so many times that happened over the years that we already know that Harry changes completely when Meghan is around. She starts with a tap of the back, and if Harry doesn't pay attention to her because he's talking to another person, or persons besides her in the area, then she grabs him and begins to pull him away. That's something that she does. Rosas also picked up on some footage from Thursday which appeared to show Meghan marching in front of the veterans. He said, it was shocking and really unacceptable. This is Meghan stealing the attention from the real protagonists of the Invictus Games, which are the veterans, the men and women that did so much for their countries. It's really bad taste. I don't know what the organizers were thinking. Okay, Meghan has the right to go to Dusseldorf. Nobody can stop her. But featuring her so much is stealing that spotlight effectively from the games themselves. That is a wasted opportunity. Harry and Meghan have been making the most of their time at the annual event, which Harry founded back in 2014. The closing ceremony has been held on Saturday night. Thank you for watching today's installment. Please do like, comment and subscribe for more.